हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम अरमान एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इराकी दिनार यूट्यूब चैनल होपफुली यू ऑल डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू ऑल लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिनार सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे द इंफॉर्मेशन In a significant development, the Central Bank of Iraq has announced the participation of 13 Iraqi banks in international foreign currency transfers starting this Friday afternoon at 10 p.m. Baghdad time. This announcement has made headlines with a delegation in New York revealing the commencement of a new phase for facilitating international transfers. If Iraq is planning to deal in currencies like the euro, Chinese yuan, Indian rupee, and UAE dirham, It will likely need to have currency compliant with Article 8, which means it must be globally accepted and traded on the forex market. This is a notable shift, especially given that the announcement was made late on a Friday night just as the forex market reopens for trading. Consequently, we might witness new exchange rates for all currency shortly, with potential updates by Tuesday, since Monday is a holiday in the US. Either this is the beginning of a major shift remains to be seen. But the involvement of 13 Iraqi banks in international currency trading is a key development. Additionally, there's been a lot of confusion surrounding Iraq's currency, particularly the idea of removing three zeros from it. Such a move, if true, would have wide-reaching effects on everything from inflation to daily transactions. However, recent statements from Udon's advisor have dismissed the notion of removing these zeros, highlighting the importance of understanding the actual implications of currency policy changes. Some articles have falsely claimed the existence of a 25 note in Iraq, a currency denomination that has never been issued, casting doubt on the credibility of such reports. Currency changes can have profound effects on saving habits, business practices, and daily purchases, leading to either panic or stability. Depending on how they are managed, the historical context of Iraq's currency changes post-2003 reveals that while such changes can stabilize an economy, they can also introduce new complexities. It's crucial to distinguish between genuine updates and misleading information. In times of economic uncertainty, such as with ongoing inflation, it's important to stay well informed, question the accuracy of news sources, and engage in local discussions about economic policies. Your voice matters. Whether you're a resident of Iraq or have ties to the country, and engaging with local representatives to discuss these issues can help shape economic policy. Transparency and informed discussion are key to navigating these complex topics. So keep questioning, stay engaged, and continue to seek out reliable information. Thank you for joining this informative discussion. Don't forget to like, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more insights. Your participation helps us all better understand and address these important issues.